next poem after hearing like an NPR story that made me like weep at my desk. Because <laughs> NPR likes to do that. They just make me cry at my desk. <laughs> at work, where I work in a cubicle. Um, yeah. And so um, ultimately, like the, the story touched me. I don't get to talk about why I wrote this poem very often. It's going to talk a little bit about it. Because I think when you're large, um, your anger terrifies people, even when it's like justified. Yep. Even when it's like the totally correct reaction. <laughs> um, even when it's not even like that serious. Like, like I can raise an eyebrow. People are like, "Calm down, Rachel." <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and then that makes me kind of want to fuck shit up. So, <laughs> Yeah, I felt for this creature. So in 1916, Mary the Elephant was hanged from an industrial crane for the murder of her inexperienced trainer. While being stripped of her ivory, it was found that she'd had two abscessed teeth on the side of her face where the trainer repeatedly struck her with the book. The circus fat lady now eulogizes Mary the Elephant. They've gone and made you a ghastly ornament of uncontrol. Your pain overturning a whole city atop the man who dare handle you like some dumb creature. Your largesse, both your attraction, now your charm. Isn't it something? The way these small souled people toss their hard earned nickels at our feet to marvel in our vastness to be in the presence of our dangerous, to mock their fear and our content, to provoke our great mass into motion so they can crown themselves then movers of mountains, worshiping and damning us in one breath for the wonders that we have. The message is clear. If you cannot be small, at least make it easy to handle. Our anger, Mary, it reminds them of all the ways we can undo them and with half the effort. How dare you want for the gentleness reserved for pretty little things? How dare you be so beastly when they only meant to beat you grateful? And look, they've gone all drunk on bad justice, hauled you into the sky of thundercloud, named themselves the gods of your demise, robbed your gravestone face with hacksaws for all the trouble of your unrest. It took an entire mob and a railroad crane to give them their pound of flesh, and still you gave them tons. How quickly they forget the monumental hearts that drive these elephantine bodies. Mary, you are survived by all things large, wild-hearted, and irreproachable. I survive you, Mary. I survive you. I survive you in every beastly enchantment I can muster. <coughs>